it! Let me in this instant! You can't come in. And if you do, I'll eat you! It's not just your room, you know! You took an oath to obey my every command if you lost our fight. And I'm commanding you to wait just a little longer. <sighs> what are you doing out here in the hall? I left to go out on a little errand, but when I came back, Velvet shut me out of our room. I've been standing here for over half an hour, but she seems no closer to letting me in. I don't know what to do. Any idea what she's doing inside there? No, I don't have a clue. All I can tell you is that sometimes I can hear something like deep breathing and soft moaning. Well, she must be doing something in there she doesn't even want a fellow woman to see. Something she doesn't want seen. Do you think maybe she's weighing herself? Even if you allow for getting undressed and then dressed again, there's no chance it takes half an hour to weigh yourself. Could she be putting on makeup? I've been yelled at for barging in on that before, although not by Velvet. That's just because you're a guy. I hardly think Velvet would have a problem with me seeing that. This is no time to just stand there lollygagging, kiddo! Velvet is obviously in great danger this very minute! Her life is hanging in the balance! She's right! You know Velvet! Never letting her weaknesses show! She probably kicked Madame Eleanor out because she didn't want anyone to see her in such bad, bad pain! It would explain the heavy breathing and moaning, too. Now that you mention it, right before I left, she had a stiff expression and she did not look well. Well, kiddo, are you going to abandon her in her time of need? The moment to test your mettle has come at last! Test... my mettle. Will you go in there or won't you? The fated decisive hour has finally arrived! Velvet! <laughs> What is it, V? Huh? Well, I thought you might die. So I... So I... Seriously? A little cleaning isn't gonna kill me. But you were looking pale. And we could hear you breathing strangely and making weird sounds. I don't think I was breathing strangely. Then what was that noise? It sounded like... <sighs> When you're cleaning glass, you breathe on it first, don't you? Then what about the moaning? The inn has this room cleaned regularly, but they missed a lot of the details. When I looked at the cups, I saw they still had tea stains from whoever drank out of it last. That's enough to make anybody moan in disappointment. Oh, I see. But if you told me you were cleaning the room, I would have offered to help you now. Everyone has their own unique way of cleaning things. So in the end, it's just faster to do it myself. My sister had her own ways, and I'm sure you do too, right? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Anyway, I'm finished so you can come back in again. Whew, what a relief to have that all done. Benwick told me that you can mop the floor with the water you've used for washing rice, and it'll make the wood shiny. Is that true? It is. Not only does it get the floor clean, It'll put on a layer of rice brown oil at the same time. Two birds with one stone. Wow, that's awesome! I didn't know that! Yeah, rice water has a lot of uses. The first time you use a new earthenware pot, boil rice water in it, and you'll extend its lifespan. And if you use it when you're rehydrating dried fish, it'll tenderize it and take away the fishy smell too. And if you water plants with it, it acts as a fertilizer. It's really useful stuff. Wow, look at you, Velvet. Maybe I could see you with a family after all. You don't have to act so surprised. Still, I've never read that in any of my books before. How did you end up learning all that? I learned from Salika, who learned it from our mom. It's just been passed down across the family. Wow! What else did you learn from your sister growing up? Salika taught me everything our mom knew about cooking, from the basics to more advanced techniques. Speaking of which, rice water is really useful when cooking, too. If you use it to boil radishes, it'll get rid of their bitter taste. When you use it to boil bamboo shoots or burdock roots, they'll soften and take on a nice white color. My mother taught Salika that anyone who threw away rice water wasn't qualified for housework, and my sister passed it on to me, too. You know so many cool things! When I needed to make my bra... 
When you need to make a child eat their vegetables, it'll go over better if you can cook them tender and not so bitter. I bet you'd make a pretty good mom one day, Velvet. You really think so? Actually, since you're here, Bienfu, I have to ask. Those are discarded vegetables on your tray there, aren't they? Yeah, but they're just raw scraps left over from cooking. I was on my way to throw them out just now. What are you talking about? That's all still good stuff you can use. Look at those radish leaves. Dice them up, fry them in oil, add soy sauce, cooking wine, bonito flakes, and sesame seeds, and voila! A perfectly healthy topping for rice. And that potato skin? If you wipe the inner side on a mirror, it won't fog up. Put some salt on those lemon rinds and you can use them to scrub a wash basin sparkling clean. Holy cow, Velvet! You're a treasure trove of knowledge! You know what's been bothering me? These pirates are way too wasteful with their food. They leave so much garbage. Uh, you might be getting a little carried away here. Yeah. I think you've made the jump from potential mom to bothersome in-law. I think I'm finally getting the hang of cooking without testing the taste. You know, I've always thought you were a really good cook, Velvet. It's not so hard. All you have to do is follow the recipe. After my sister died, I always did the cooking. The most important thing is adding just the right amount of salt, and the final adjustments of flavor. Oh, and once you're just about done, you have to make a wish that it turns out tasty. You wish for flavor? Yeah, so long as you do that, anything will turn out tasting good. Salika taught me that. It sounds like your sister was quite the master chef. Oh, I don't know about that. But now I'll never be her match. I've lost my taste, sure. But I've also forgotten what it even feels like to taste something delicious. What I make isn't really food. It's merely sustenance. I don't think that's true, Velvet. No. No. <laughs> this is great! You're a fine chef, Velvet. I just remembered something my sister said. She always wished for our food to taste good, because she wanted to see us happy when we ate it. Oh? <laughs> and she said I ate like a pig, too. I... I don't think you do. It's a good thing. You should eat a lot, too, so you can grow up big and strong. <laughs>